What's going on everybody? I decided to do like a step-by-step -step thing for Galen College of Nursing because there isn't one that I found uh, on the internet. You know, I go searching for information about Galen and you know, you get the advertisement thing you can find on YouTube or whatever else, you know, but it's not really someone's honest oh well this what happened here and this what happened there you know you can go to allnurses.com and there's not very much information you know um, which I believe that's, that probably scared a lot of people okay so <clears throat> getting into it this year which is 2016 today is uh, August 11th within 2016 year Galen College of Nursing in Tampa Bay which is where I am got its ACEN accreditation. It's also regionally accredited uh, by the Southern Association of Schools or whatever it is, but the, the regional accreditation that happens for the Southeast. And it also uh, the bachelorette program, which is an online uh, schooling, which is only offered to so many states, is accredited by the CCNE. So this is Galen is pretty much official now. It's it's an official school. You know what I'm saying? So when you graduate here, you can transfer to wherever. Uh, you should be able to transfer to wherever because it's now accredited by all the uh, appropriate accreditation affiliates. So that's the first thing that gets my attention. Um, but a lot of people have had a, problems with the administration in the past. Um... My, I guess, relationship with the administration here at the Galen College of Nursing in Tampa Bay, it's been okay, kind of a kind of a fight, but then not really. You know, I've had to be an adult, and I think that's what people don't understand with college is you got to be an adult. You know what I'm saying? You can't just say mommy I want this and then it just appears you know what I'm saying so um, as far as financial aid you got to be on top of it you got to be you know they only got like two people back there to handle all the students when it comes to financial aid so you got to take uh, responsibility and, and be be on uh, be on those guys behind you know uh, I'm trying to keep it clean here but you know I don't I cuss a lot so y'all got to excuse me if it if it come out but anyway uh, so like my guys, Matt Espinosa, I'm, I'm emailing and calling Matt constantly. Like what's going on? What's the next step? What's, what's going on with my enrollment appointment? I'm at the state now where I'm going to, uh, get an enrollment appointment, assuming that all the paperwork goes through, all the paperwork has gone through. It's just been a fight cause they are, they keep coming back like this expense report and stuff. They want to know. Uh, where my money is coming from and how I'm getting it and who what I'm spending it on and all that which I don't really believe is any school's business but I mean for whatever whatever uh, I'll do it whatever to, to get the process rolling because I mean every school I've been to do, does that which financial aid so you got Hillsborough Community College St. Pete now Galen I mean so I'm not uh, gonna try to fight the system or nothing I'm just trying to get my degree you know what I'm saying so with that, um, so anybody who's not in my predicament probably won't go through all that, but hopefully um, that goes streamlined. But um, every time you call Galen, somebody, some front desk lady picks up the phone and you say, can you patch me in? Can you patch me through to enter name of whoever you want to be patched through to? And sometimes they'll patch you to the wrong person and then that person will try to help you not knowing anything about what it is that you particularly need help with. Like, I'm a veteran, so I need someone who knows about the VA and the GI Bill and Voc Rehab, Chapter 33, 31, all those different chapters. I need someone who knows about those so he could file the appropriate paperwork. But when you patch me through to someone who has no idea what I'm talking about, and then they sit there and try to help me, and I have to explain to them where they have to go, it's just not good. You know, it's just very frustrating. 
and uh, very time consuming, which we all uh, don't like because obviously time is, is of the essence, especially when you're going to a school like Galen who puts all prerequisites inside the curriculum with the nursing program. You know, so that's why there's no wait because the prerequisites are put inside the curriculum. <clears throat> so you're gonna be you're gonna be busy, you know, so I hope that helps, you know, for that's just my first take on Galen, you know, I haven't really started yet. I started September twenty ninth, so um hopefully we can get some more info and I'll be spitting it out there to you guys. All right. Future nurse, Joshua Jenkins. Nurse Jinxie.